What's up YouTube? I'm back with a quick video about my dishwasher. Uh, it stopped drying the dishes, so after the the, dry, uh, the washing cycle, uh, it wouldn't heat dry like it did. Um, so I wrote down my model number, I googled it, uh, a bunch of these other YouTube videos came out um, to diagnose the problem. And right away I thought it'd be the, the drying, the heat element uh, was bad. Uh, but a couple of videos said check the the float sensor or flood sensor or flood switch flood switch sorry uh, my flood switch is right here it's that tall thing sticking right out of the center uh, inside there's a little ball that moves up and down uh, so I ordered that part from Amazon it was like 25 bucks uh, I started with the cheapest part first um, and I took it out uh, put it back in um, with this kind of dishwasher you take off the the spinner and they take off these two little um, I guess clips they just twist off and then this silver plate comes off and then down below there's two screws to remove that flood switch uh, and there's a little wire harness connected to it so I took it out and when I got the new one, I shook it, and you can hear the little float inside bouncing back and forth. The, the old one that was in there, the float was not moving. Uh, I had to shake it really hard, so it wasn't like moving freely. So I replaced it, um, and tried it, and it worked great. Uh, other than that, that's it. If you have any questions about it, uh, it was real simple to do. Uh, just when you're taking uh, it off the flood switch part there might be water inside there So I got a couple, you know a bunch of napkins and sucked up some of the water uh, And I replaced it, but other than that uh, It's a pretty simple fix. It's the cheapest fix first. It's tw like 24 bucks uh, The heating element was like about 60 bucks uh, So I went the you know the first l less expensive repair first uh, which was $25 and then the if I had to replace the element if that didn't work that was about 60 bucks I think and then last resort is the control panel itself uh, basically the where the buttons are and stuff that was like I think $90 or something like that so if your dishes are not drying uh, and they're still wet uh, try that first uh, my flood switch is right in the center some other dishwashers, they may be on the side. It looks like a little mushroom head, either left side or right side. Um, and that's basically it. Mine's a GE. Uh, the model number is DDT575SSF0SS. Um, and that's, that's it. Just a quick video, if you guys have a problem with your dishwasher not drying the dishes after they're done washing, it just may be the, the flood switch. Uh, I just threw away the flood switch the other day uh, because I would, some people said that you can probably clean it out, but I was just like, whatever, just replace it, it's 24 bucks. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them in the comments section uh, if you like. Uh, the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and that's it. Until uh, next video, see ya!